What's your message to uh, Wilkin after that difficult game? You know, it's, it's, it's to all of them, though. It wasn't just him. But, you know, first of all, a lot of times when you have holding penalties, it's either A, you're out of position, or B, you don't have great technique or body position, and then you reach out and grab. And the thing that was unfortunate, two or three of those holds were just guys not necessarily trusting their technique and their tracks and trying to do more than they're supposed to, and that cost us. So, you know, it's 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 still about the fundamentals of techniques. And, you know, we had a, 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 a great film session on Sunday, and we're gonna get that fixed. What did you see out of Elijah when he uh, got inserted in the, into the game? You know, he did a great job, you know, and it was a small sample size and, you know, he was kind of beat up throughout the week. So, you know, for me, it's like wanted to pull the trigger earlier, but, you know, just being in and out all week and not being 100 percent sometimes leaves a little doubt in my mind. But I thought when he did go out there, he did a tremendous job. What have you seen from him and Proctor and just in terms of what they, how they look in practice this week? You know, it's it's like every week we're, we're battling to get healthy, to get better. The want to is there, there's no question. So, you know, hopefully at some point we'll have five healthy guys that can play together and we'll get a rhythm going. But, you know, uh, again, the, I also say this, uh, as frustrating as it was for everybody at home and, and even more so for us, you know, the kids could have just imploded and you see it all the time, right, where that momentum just kind of go against you and, and you fall apart. But I'll give them credit for finding a way to stick together, fight through it, and finally doing what they're capable of doing in the fourth quarter. How difficult is it to balance, I guess, gelling as a unit when you got Elijah maybe playing on the left, maybe playing on the right, you got Booker maybe playing at left tackle? Just how do you guys kind of create that, that gel that you need to have? Well, it's, you know, you, you try to cross-train guys throughout the summer and fall camp so they're able to play those positions. It's obvious when you when you look at teams that have a lot of success, it's amazing how many reps the starters play together, right? So that's that's not like a surprise to anyone. It's obviously better when you can have five guys or maybe you're rotating two guys. It's always the same rhythm playing together. But it's no excuses. Like that's why we practice. That's what we got to get done no matter who's out there. How have you seen the, the group bounce back this week in practice? I think they got the message. And uh, I think that, you know, it hurts them more than anybody else. They got great pride in what they do and they want to do the right thing and they want to do the job. None of the, none of those issues on the game were because they didn't want to and because they were lazy. You know, they give great effort. It's just we have to get better technically and understand what we're doing. So I feel like we're, we've had a good week. How have y'all prepared for uh, the difficult crowd noise in Wisconsin? Yeah, you know, it's it's obviously when you play in the SEC, that's anytime you go on the road is the expectation. So, you know, it's just like everything else. We got plenty of noise out there. and. And, you know, you work through it, the communications and all things we got to do and be prepared when you get there. From an offensive perspective, how much disruption can Tim Keenan cause, a, a, you know, an opposing offense and just with his pass rushing? Yeah, you know, Tim's a very good player. It's not just a pass rush, too. It's in the run game. He's, he's, a, he's a, a physical guy that can really can hold the gap and be explosive. You know, it's always it's, – it, there's when you're looking at D tackles and noses throughout football, there's not a lot of them that are great pass rushers, and when you can find one or two that can do both, it, it does put a lot of stress on you. For guys who are moving around positions on the line, is it more difficult to go from like guard to tackle or switch positions, or is it more difficult to switch sides? Oh, for sure, switching positions. You know, it's it's a uh, you know left to right, right to left. You should always be able to do that. We work on that all the time, so that shouldn't be a huge issue. But switching positions that that's a whole nother playbook, right? So you still should know, you have an, you know what the offense is, but there's different techniques involved, there's different calls involved, there's different things you react to. So definitely switching positions can be difficult. For Booker to go to left tackle, never playing that in a game, and do it in one week's preparation, even though he got reps added over the spring, I thought was a, he did an amazing job. Can you speak more about Tyler Booker and just what he's brought to the offensive line? I mean, thank God he's here. You know, he's, he's uh, it starts with just kind of the human he is, and then the leadership, the drive. The thing about it is you don't always have guys in your room that are like that. And I always tell these guys success leaves clues. So you look at this guy, how he trains, how he works. Like there's no excuse for anybody in a room to not understand what it takes. So it's huge to have that. And just the versatility he has, he can play all five spots on the line and he creates great leadership. He will challenge them when they need to be challenged and he's usually on point. And, and they respect him because they know who he is and what he's about. Does he remind you of any former player that you've had, or is he a unique case? 
there, there's only been a couple in all my years that have probably been as good a player and as good a leader as he is. You know, you have, I've had some really good players that are a little more quiet. And you've had some guys that maybe weren't quite as good a player as him, but were really good leaders. He's kind of the whole package. I hope he doesn't read this because I still got to coach him for the rest of the season, but you know, and I still stay on him. And that's the thing about him. He wants you to challenge him. So he, he's, just, he's just a special kid. In your experience, him kicking out to left tackle, like how impressive was that? That's really impressive. There's, there's not a lot of guards or interior guys that can do that, right? And then to do it in a short week and be ready to go and still be able to play guard, you know, it's just, it's, it's impressive that he did a great job, man. It was a, it was huge to have that. You know, we were pretty thin, and so for him to be able to step up and do it, it was, it was big for us. Because speaking on your unit, the offensive line as a whole, how do you just challenge them? How do they challenge themselves just to? Uh, win the battle of the trenches this week. You know that's going to be important going on the road with that noise and everything. And win the trenches, that's just and that you just have to do that to win games, period. So how does your group do that? Well, there's no question. You know, it always starts up front. And then when you're in a hostile territory, when you can dominate up front, then it kind of quiets everybody down. And, you know, it, it's not like they, they're going to work harder or something this week. It's the standard we have, right? And so I, I've never had major issues with, with their work ethic and want to. You know, we have some young guys that haven't played many reps and just understanding how to, just the technique it takes to be successful all the time and being able to handle different situations. So every rep these kids get, they get better, you know, and they understand it. So that nobody felt like I told these guys earlier worse than, than the guys that were involved with those issues this week and, and they came ready to work this week.